Hi everyone, it's Lee here at Gnome and Backyard, and we did do this Shower Caddy Gnome on a live, but so many of you were asking for just a quick video of it, so here you go. All we took was one of these Shower Caddies from the Dollar Tree, and then we took two of the Dollar Tree mop heads. So all you're going to do is pull your strands out of the mop head, and then you are going to fold your strand in half, put it over the bar, the bottom bar is where we're starting for this, put it over the bottom bar and then loop your two ends right through. And you are going to want to continue doing this and filling it as tight and full as you would like to so that your gnome has a very fluffy beard. So we are starting at the bottom of the shower caddy. We are going all the way around the sides and across the front. We are just going to repeat this with our mop strands until we have the entire bottom row filled. Once we have the bottom row filled, we're now going to go to the bar right above that and do the exact same thing. You do want to keep pushing your strands close to one another, again, so that you have a very nice, full beard. This project really does not take a lot of time, and it is very simple. It would actually be something fun to do with the kids or grandkids. And again, we just used one Dollar Tree shower caddy and two Dollar Tree mops. You will also need a Santa hat, which you can get at the Dollar Tree, and then something for a nose, whether you use a styrofoam ball for a nose, a ping pong ball, uh, or a wooden bead for a nose, it's all up to you. But you really do not need a lot of items for this project. So now we are doing the third bar, again, filling the sides, going around the sides and across the front. Another option for your beard when you are done, if you would actually like to unravel these mop head strands, you can, and your beard would be even fluffier. I, however, really like the way this finished product looked, leaving the strands just the way they are. They look like big strands of spaghetti, and I actually liked this look for my gnome. Um, you can also make a Santa. And for that, you would probably just place the nose a little bit further down, not right under the brim of the hat. Again, it's up to you whether you choose to unfurl these or leave them, uh, the strands, the way they are. You can also use yarn if you have yarn at home and did not want to grab the mops from the Dollar Tree. Now we are just finishing up that fourth top row and our beard is complete. Next, I did grab a uh, Santa hat from the Dollar Tree. I do like the hats they have this year. They have some really nice hats. This hat in particular just reminds me of a Christmas sweater. The colors are great, the red, the cream, and the gray. And I love the little reindeer and the trees on this hat. And it is almost like a sweater knit fabric. So all you're going to do is pull it down right over the top of your shower caddy. It's that simple. 
I am going to attach my hat with a little bead of hot glue right underneath the fur and then just press it down right onto the strands of the mop and it will hold and stay secure. And these hats actually fit perfectly on the shower caddies from the Dollar Tree. I'm not even going to put any glue on the back. It does not need that. I will flip this over though, just to show you what the back looks like. And now all we really need to do is add a nose. So for my nose, I chose to use one of the styrofoam balls from the Dollar Tree. I believe they are six or eight in a pack for a dollar. And I am just going to paint it with some tan acrylic paint. I am using one of my sponges to sponge the paint on. I find it much easier than using a brush when I am dealing with these styrofoam balls. After my paint is dry, I am just going to attach this right underneath the brim of my hat with my hot glue. And there you have it. This guy is just absolutely adorable. Now what's awesome about this craft is he actually sits up on his own and you can use him as a shelf sitter or you can just hang him on a door. If you like this quick video, please pass it along to your Facebook family and friends. And thank you so much for continuing to support Gnome and Backyard. Have a fabulous holiday.